Welcome and hello, this is Corbin and in this episode of Linux Experiences on Deck Edition I want to show you how to install the Humble Games Collection app on your Steam Deck. In 2010 Humble became pretty popular when they started to sell Humble Indie Games bundle with a special model which was a pay what you want sale and it was also special that all those games included in this bundle had to be cross-platform. That means next to the Windows version there had to be available a Mac and a Linux version. And surprisingly, the average price paid per user was the highest for the Linux user. In November 13, Humble opened their own store where developers were able to sell their games without the necessity to create their own store and use the widget on their homepage. And in October 2015, they introduced a subscription model called Humble Monthly, where a list of curated games was made available to subscribers, which transitioned over in 2019 to a Humble Choice subscription. In this choice subscription were more games included, but depending on the tier subscribers were paying, you were able to get something between three or 10 games. And with that choice bundle, they also gave access to their humble trove, which was a list of DRM free games that all subscribers had access to. In January 2022, they made another transition back to a monthly like subscription. So there's only one tier and with one price, you get access to all the games. They also introduced a Windows app for accessing the trove. Unfortunately, with that, the access to the Mac and Linux games was not available anymore, and the app wasn't working on Linux at all before. But thanks to the GitHub user Gustash, there is now a looter script available, which makes it very easy to install the game. Nevertheless, there are some hoops you have to jump through, and while I was doing my tests on my Steam Deck, I had some issues that had to be solved, which I, when I reverted all the changes and did it again, were not occurring anymore. So later I will tell you some of the troubleshooting tips and now we have a look how to install this on your Steam Deck. So at first we switch to the desktop mode on our Steam Deck because we have to install the Lutris app which is only available to install on the desktop. So at first we install the Lutris app through the Discover App Store. We click on the Discover icon, place the cursor in the search field. With Steam and X we open the virtual keyboard and we search for Lutris, L-U-E-R-I-S, and click on the first entry here, install. After finishing the installation, we can close Discover, and it will have installed Lutris in the menu under Games. And the first time setup will take a little bit as it's checking for runtime updates. And for a more pleasant view, I would suggest going to the preferences and select a dark mode. And then we click on the plus icon here, go to the search icon, place the cursor on the search field, open the virtual keyboard again and search for humble. At the moment, only one entry will come up, which is the humble games collection app. And we click on install. There's a path suggested, which we just keep. So we click install again. It will download the Lutris Wine version that is configured with this installation script. And after that, it will download the Humble Games Collection app from the Humble Bundle webpage automatically. So we click again on continue. And if everything works right, it will configure the Wine prefix. So if you get an error there, like uh, exit code 256, click on OK, cancel the installation and start over. It might have to do something with unpacking the Lutris Wine version. So very important here is now, after allowing access from your browser, you should open the link with the Humble Games Collection login app. I had this issue before where it was not connected. It should work out of the box, but we will see if it does here or not. So we can click on launch. And you should now be able to click on sign in to your Humble account. So if I click here and nothing happens, it might open for you automatically. If it doesn't, like it does here for me, I open the console and here I need a command that is system control space dash dash user space restart space xdg dash desktop dash portal. You enter this command over the virtual keyboard, press enter once. Go back to the Humble app and click on sign in again. And now you can click on sign in to your Humble account and it will open the default web browser. 
here we click on allow access so if you click on open link here and it will open a box where you have to select the correct app and the box is empty click on show more applications and there the humble login application will show up select it click ok and then it will work so for me this works apparently out of the box this still takes a moment so just be patient but then you are logged in once this is started close it again and make sure that you can start it from Lutris again. Oh no. So once this is logged in, immediately go to the settings sign and uncheck keep running app when window is closed. You can also uncheck the automatic launch at startup, but that's not an issue here. The main thing is keep running app when window is closed, this should be unchecked. So let's make sure this starts again. We close the app and start this again. And it is working. Another issue here is that you cannot really grab the slider for scrolling down. If that's happening, maximize the window and then you can grab the slider and scroll down. Otherwise, I wasn't able to grab it. It will always go to the resize cursor. Here we can go to browse, for example, and then instead of all, which will also show all the trove games, we can go to the Humble Games collection and select only this. And here, for example, we can select a game like Void Bastards. And now the next issue is when we install this game, so we click on download, it will give us a warning message that claims PowerShell Core isn't installed, but we can click on OK. And then this window will pop up. You can leave it in the background. And uh, I would suggest to unselect create desktop shortcut and start menu and then download. Another window will pop up again. You can ignore it for now. And it will download the game in the background. So here we can just close those windows. It's shown here with these wine icons. We can select them and close them. It doesn't matter. It will still show us here the progress bar. And once it is installed, we can hit play. And the game will just start and work. I haven't tested all the games, but some of them, and so far there were no issues. Game controls are working, and the games are just working. So I will quit this game again, close the app, and we want, to, of course, to be able to start this from the gaming mode of the Steam Deck. So we right click on this and click here, create Steam shortcut. You can also do that by selecting this and click on the arrow icon here. Here is also create Steam shortcut. This won't show up until you restart Steam clients. So we are going now to gaming mode. Because installing games through the gaming mode is a little bit different. In gaming mode, we open the menu, go to library and go to non-Steam. Here we have the humble games collection, which we start. And here we have to press the Steam button all the time to be able to operate the mouse. And again here, it will be tricky to reach the slider for scrolling down. Again, the solution is to maximize the window. We'll have a little white bar next to it, but nevertheless, we are now able to grab this and scroll. Let's install another game, for example, Forager. So as before, when we click here on download, it will open the PowerShell, but in this case, it will open it in full screen. So here we have to open the virtual keyboard again by holding Steam and the X key and enter exit. Here we can see the installation dialog now. I have unchecked create desktop shortcut and start menu. Click on download. I'm pressing the Steam button all the time while operating the right trackpad. And again, the PowerShell will come up. So we enter exit once more. But now the game already installed in the background and we can play it. Also here the same. It just seems to work. No issues so far with the current Wine version pre-selected. But also this game is just working. If the game is defaulting to keyboard input, again, just press the Steam button while operating the mouse, go to options and select controller here instead of keyboard and mouse. And then you can operate it with controller. Maybe the initial detection is wrong, but after that, 
it works with controller as well. So yeah, this is a little bit tricky and there are some issues. So for example, if you have selected Firefox as your default browser, but it's still opening Chrome, which was happening for me, for example, that was caused because I have my Steam Deck from the first batch. And back then I was adding Chrome to the non-Steam apps. And if that is happening to you as well, uninstall Chrome from the Discover Store and also remove the connection here in the non-Steam games. As long as the connection is here, it might still open Chrome because it's not properly uninstalled. So even there are some hoops you have to jump through. You can install the Humble Games Collection app on your Steam Deck and the games do work. And I'm looking forward to be able to play Signalis at the end of this month as I have tried that game already on the last Steam Next Fest and I'm interested in that game. And that was my motivation to see if the Humble Games Collection app is running on the Steam Deck. It does. It is a little bit tricky, but in the end, the games do work and that's the main thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.